1.04 Gs. Base 911 takes 24 seconds flat to run the figure eight, meaning the Cayman GTS is quicker. In fact, the Cayman GTS is quicker than any 911 we've ever tested, save for the GT3 and turbo models. I mean, I'll say this about Caymans and Boxers too, the, the, the steering is really what separates them from mortal cars. If you jump out of something, say, oh, I don't know, a Jaguar, Coupe R, and you get into this and you just have so much steering and so little understeer. And also, unless you're really going nuts, 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 so little oversteer, balance, balance, balance. What makes a Cayman GTS? Or for that matter, any Porsche GTS? Well, the basic recipe is, you take your S model and you mix in the most popular options and you charge less for that car than you would for the base car with all the options. Add to that a couple exterior tweaks, you lower the suspension, you mix in a little bit more power, and voila, that's a GTS. Wow, um, <laughs> fun car. Sports cars are fun cars, and this is a great sports car. Horsepower is up 15, count them, 15 ponies. 325 over the Cayman S, with 340 in this car. Torque is up marginally by 7 pound feet. Even 280, but as Anthony, my cameraman, pointed out, this is the punchiest. 280 pound feet of torque I've ever felt. When you get a Porsche GTS, you get some special stuff on the exterior. In the case of the Cayman, you get larger and blacked out front air intakes, you get frosted headlights and taillights, and you get a blacked out exhaust tip. 